So now this isn't a practical circuit. So there's better ways to use this, but it's a cool circuit in my opinion, and uh, it's uh, useful for getting familiar with uh, some electronic principles. So right now we have a low input. The LED is off. We're using NPN bipolar junction transistors. You could use just one, but if you use just one, um, there's going to be a point when you raise the base voltage where the LED starts glowing a little bit, and we don't have that. Um, we just uh, reach a point where the LED uh, turns on suddenly. And I can go up even more if I want. Um, let's go to off and then slowly work our way up. There we go. It suddenly turns on and off. Now, there's a little bit of hysteresis. I got to go down a little bit before it suddenly turns off. So we overcame the problem of, you know, when you're at a kind of a middle ground region where the LED is like glowing a, a little bit, we have an actual solid on or off. And really quickly, this uh, circuit wastes a lot of power. When that LED is off, you would expect no current, but we actually have more current, 24 milliamps of current approximately right there flowing than when the LED is on. Um, so be aware of that as well. This isn't a practical circuit. It's just more kind of a fun circuit. So now we're going to start with the uh, resistor and the LED. If I get rid of uh, this transistor, you can see the LED wants to be on right there. So the LED is actually on when the transistor is off. When the transistor there is on, this particular one right there, we get a little bit of current, phase 2 emitter, and then we need this resistor to help raise that voltage a little bit. Um, but in case, when the transistor turns on, now we have an almost direct connection to ground right there. It drops that voltage to almost zero. So the LED is off. So on and off, a not gate. Whereas when this one's off, then that one's on. A not gate, as I said before. We stack another not gate though. So when you got a couple of not gates, then you have a buffer. Um, when that one's on, that one's off, the LED will be on. Hopefully that makes sense. So you can see uh, here, um, if we turn it off first, let's do that then uh, this is not conducting and uh, it's like it doesn't exist. That turns that transistor on, which we already established, turns the LED off. So off on off. If we raise the voltage enough, and that's why we need the 10K resistor right there, we can go directly to the positive supply. We could also add resistance up there. That would be uh, fine instead. Um, but in any case, we need to limit current when we get to the uh, full positive supply right there. Um, if we don't just add resistance up there to begin with. But in any case, we go up to 5 volts, a little bit of current is going to flow that way, uh, right there, which is going to turn this transistor on, connecting to ground there. Whatever current goes here will just get sucked to ground. So this voltage gets dropped to almost zero. Turning this one off, so on, off, which we already established, allows the LED to turn on. So a couple of knot gates that we stock, uh, stack together to make basically a buffer. And now we'll zoom in to the actual circuit. I'll uh, turn the LED on. So now we know that uh, this transistor is off. It's like it doesn't exist because we got positive there, 220 ohm resistor, and the LED uh, is lit up. So we know current's not being sucked away, pulling the voltage down. So since uh, this one is off right there, the uh, base is getting a ground connection uh, because this one's on. You can see we go to collector, and emitter to ground. So that is holding it off. That LED is on, this transistor is off, this transistor is on. It's uh, conducting. Um, pretty uh, straightforward. And uh, we got a 1000 ohm resistor to limit how much current goes through this transistor when it's on. I already mentioned this uh, helps uh, keep the current down when I go all the way to 5 volts, but we don't have to do it that way. Um, so now we will uh, lower the uh, trim putt get close enough to ground, which we know turns that transistor off. It's uh, not connected, and we got the 1000 ohm resistor there now coming to the base of that transistor, which uh, turns it on. And we got that connection to ground right there, um, which is, you know, connecting basically the long lead, the anode of the LED, make sure you put it in the right way, to ground, which keeps it off. But we do have that wasted current going through there. So if you were going to use transistors to make a circuit like this, you got to take some extra steps to uh, avoid wasting uh, current. There's no point to that. Uh, but yeah, in any case, uh, hopefully you still found that interesting. Even if you don't ever have to like build uh, this circuit, uh, being aware of how it works should help uh, with uh, understanding other circuits as well. So I think it's a really good one to still look at, even though it's not a serious one 
for uh, building yourself. As I said before, you can just grab, uh, there's not gate Schmidt triggers, and you just use a couple of them in series, you know, basically like we're doing here. They don't need any current from the inputs um, for them to operate, and uh, you could use it to switch a transistor or something. You know, um, all kinds of better ways to do this, but it's still a cool circuit, in my opinion. Thanks for watching. Make sure you check out one of the other videos I posted on the screen, and check out the links down below. They all help out a lot. I'll see you in the next video.